طلبتنا الاعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته في رابع محاضره من محاضرات تشريح تشريح الاعصاب في موديول الجهاز العصبي نبدا اليوم بمحاضره عنوانها سربلم First of all the cerebellum is part of the hind brain it is located posterior to the brain stem separated from the brain stem by the cavity of the fourth ventricle this is the cerebellum and that's the brain stem composed of medulla oblongata from inferior to superior pons and midbrain between them between the brain stem and cerebellum we have the cavity of the fourth ventricle The cerebellum is situated in the posterior cranial fossa and is covered superiorly by the tentorium cerebelli. It is the largest part of the hindbrain and lies posterior to the fourth ventricle, the pons and medulla oblongata. The cerebellum consists of three parts, two cerebellar hemispheres and the, and the vernus between them. Cerebellar hemispheres joined by a narrow median vernus, vernus subdivided also into three parts. From anterior to posterior, we have the nodule, uvula, and pyramid. Even the cerebellum is composed of two cerebellar hemispheres with the vernus between them. The vernus then is subdivided into three parts. From anterior to posterior, we have the nodule, uvula, and pyramid. The cerebellum is connected to the posterior aspect of the brainstem by three symmetrical bundles of nerve fibers called superior, middle, and inferior cerebellar peduncles. ونريد ننتبه على كلمة cerebellar pedunculus يعني راح تجينا بالمستقبل cerebral pedunculus ونميز بيناتهم شفنا أكثر التقسيمات بالcerebellum للسهولة مقسمة إلى ثلاث أقسام Rule of three The cerebellum is divided into three main loops Each cerebellum, the cerebellum itself is divided into anterior loop, middle loop and flocculonodular loop The middle loop or sometimes called the posterior loop is the largest part of the cerebellum. It is situated between the primary and uvulonodular fissures. Floculonodular loop is situated posterior to the uvulonodular fissure. We have three main fissures, primary fissure, horizontal, and uvulonodular fissure. The primary fissure is a wide V-shaped fissure separate the anterior loop from the middle loop. The horizontal fissures separate the superior from the inferior surface at the level of middle cerebellar peduncles. And finally, the third main fissure is, here, is the uvulonodular fissure, or sometimes it's called posterior lateral, separate the flocculonodular loop from the other loops. راح نشوف بهذه الصورة عندنا superior view, الأعلى هي superior view, والأخرى هي inferior view of the cerebellum. أولا هذا cerebellar hemisphere. هذا واحد وهذا واحد وبيناتهم الفيرنس بالسوبرير فيو راح نشوف اهم نقطه بالسوبرير فيو البرايمري فيشر وقلنا البرايمري فيشر اللي هو في شيب فيشر راح يفصل لنا الانتيرير لوب عن الميدل لوب اللي احيانا نسميه بوستيرير لوب والسوبرير سيرفيس راح ينفصل عن الانتيرير سيرفيس بالهوريزونتال فيشر اللي هنا جزء منه واضح بهذه الصوره بالانتيرير بارت اللي اريد منكم تعرفون طبعا كل النقاط بس اهمها راح نشوف الفيرمس وراح نشوف البايراميد راح نشوف اليوفولا ونشوف النوديول بايراميد يوفولا اند نوديول هذه الصوره شفناها قبل شويه للتذكير سيربيلوم از لوكيتد بوستيرير تو برين ستيم سيبريتد فروم ذا برين ستيم باي ذا كافيتي اوف ذا فورث فينتريكول والبرين ستيم هنا راح نشوفه راح نشوف ميدالا اوبلونجاتا فروم انتيرير تو سوبرير بونز اند ميد برين اباوت ذا ستراكشر اوف سيربيلم ذا سيربيلم از كومبوز اوف ان اوتر كوفرينج اوف جراي ماتر كولد كورتكس اند انر وايت ماتر هنا راح نشوف راح يختلف عن اللي شفناه سابقا بالسباينال كورد اللي كانت الوايت ماتر هي الاوتر والانر هي الجراي ماتر هنا راح تكون مختلفة. Embedded in white matter of each hemisphere are masses of gray matter forming intracerebellar nuclei. يعني عندنا externally the gray matter, internally the white matter. Within the white matter, we have intracerebellar nuclei, masses of gray matter embedded within the white matter of the cerebellum. About the cerebellar cortex, about the structure of cerebellar cortex. 
The gray matter of the cortex throughout its extent has a uniform structure. It may be divided into three layers. We have the molecular layer, Purkinje cell layer, and granular layer. راح نشوفها بهذه الصورة. Three layers. نأخذ تفاصيلها شوية أكثر. Molecular layer contains two types of neurons. We have the outer stellate cell and inner basket cells. راح نشوفها هنا أيضا تكون واضحة. هذه هذا كل السيربرال cortex. Molecular layer, Purkinje cell layers. Granular layer. وهذه راح نشوف أيضا الخلايا الستل الستليت and inner basket. Purkinje cell layers are large Golgi type one neurons. They are flat shaped and are arranged in a single layer. Then we have the granular layer is packed with small cells with densely staining nuclei and scanty cytoplasm. Granular layer cells مالتها تكون dense staining nuclei and scanty cytoplasm. هذه الصورة راح نشوف cross section of the cerebellar polyum showing the three layers of cerebellar cortex. راح نشوف هنا the molecular layer, the Purkinje and granular layer. حكينا على intra cerebellar nuclei وقلنا هي four masses of gray matter. That are embedded in the white matter of the cerebellum on each side of the middle of, uh, of the midline. From the lateral to medial, these nuclei are the dentate, emboliform, globus, and fascigia. Hadi tajami alimi gray matter within the white matter, the inner part of the cerebellum, and the four main nuclei. Ilihiya, idan samiha, from lateral to the medial, we have dentate. Emboliform, globus, and fascigial. The dentate is the most lateral or largest. It is the largest part or largest of the cerebellar nuclei. It has the shape of a crumpled bag with opening facing medially. Crumpled bag يعني يقصد شون الجنطة المفتوحة والفتحة مع الجنطة facing medially باتجاه medial. The interior of the bag is filled with white matter made of Made up of efferent fibers that leads the nucleus forming throughout the opening to, the, to form a large part of the superior cerebellar peduncle. Then, medial to the dentate, and احنا قلنا هذا تسلسل from lateral to the medial, we have the emboliform nucleus. It is an ovoid and is situated medial to, medial to the nu dentate nucleus, partially covering its hilus. Then we have the globus and nucleus consist of one or more rounded cell groups. That lie medial to the emboliform nucleus. Then, more medially near the midline, we have the fascigial nucleus. It lies near the midline in the vermis and close to the roof of the fourth ventricle. It is larger than the globus nucleus. راح نشوف هذه الصورة ونشوف the position of the intracerebellar nuclei. قبل كل شيء, the external part of cerebellum هو the gray matter. The internal part is the white matter. Within the white matter, we have a collection of gray matter, and we call it intracerebellar nuclei. The intracerebellar nuclei, if we want to count it, or from lateral to the medial, the first thing is the dentate nucleus, which we call it the dentate, and the shape of it is a crumpled bag, like the open bag, which is open to the medial medial. More medial. From the dentate nucleus, we have the emboliform nucleus. Then we have globus nucleus. وقريب midline we have fascigial nucleus. Functional areas of cerebellar cortex. It is possible to divide up the cerebellar cortex into three functional areas. The cortex of the vermis, which influences the movement of the long axis of the body. Immediately lateral to the vermis is so-called intermediate zone of the cerebellar hemisphere. This area has been shown to control the muscles of the distal part of the limbs. Then we have the lateral zone of each cerebellar hemisphere appears to be concerned with the planning of sequential movements of the entire body and is involved with the, con with the conscious assessment of movement errors. The sequential movement, the tabu hadi al 
واحدة من الفانكشنز اوف دي سيرفيلا ولازم نعرف نقطة كلش مهمة بصورة عامة السيرفيلم انفلونس ذا موفمنت ات ابير تو بي كونسيرند وذ بلانينج اوف موفمنت It is not initiate. It is not the source of initiation of the movement. بداية ال movement, the أمر بال movement, the initiation يبدي من the cerebral cortex, من the higher centers of the brain. The cerebellum راح يكون the initiation, the affon, the influencing راح تأثر وترتب وتنظم هذه الحركة. مو initiation وإنما influencing. Another description for further functions of the cerebellum. We have the anterior and middle loops. نعتبرها responsible mainly for muscle tone and coordination. Floccular nervous loop responsible for equilibrium connected to the vestibular nucleus within the middle lobe longata. شرحنا سابقا the gray matter. أول شيء قلنا cortex. بعدين قلنا the intracerebellar nuclei. اللي هي four groups of nuclei. هسا نيجي نتكلم قليلا عن the white matter. There is a small amount of white matter in the vermis. It closely resembles the trunk and the branches of the, uh, of a tree, and thus termed as arbor vitae. Arbor vitae, كمصطلح يشبه السربلم بالشجرة الأقص والأقصان مالته وراح نشوف الصورة وتكون أدنى أوضح. There is a large amount of white matter in each cerebellar hemisphere. The white matter is made up of three group of fibers. We have intrinsic. Afferent and efferent. The intrinsic, واضحة, from the part of cerebellum. The afferent, هو الوارد, and the efferent, هو الصادر أو الخارج من cerebellum. The intrinsic fibers do not leave the cerebellum but connect different regions of the organ. The afferent fibers, the wired, from the greater part of white matter and proceed to the cerebellar cortex. They enter the cerebellum mainly through the inferior and middle cerebellar peduncles. إذا إحنا ذكرنا قلنا عندنا 3 cerebellar peduncles عندنا superior, middle, inferior. ال afferent fibers mainly تدخل عن طريق ال inferior and middle. The efferent fibers this constitutes the output of the cerebellum and the and the commence as the axons of the Purkinje cells of the cerebellar cortex. إذا هي الخارج الصادر من السربلم اللي يبدي عادة من الـ Perkinji cells أو cerebellar cortex The greater majority of Perkinji cell axons pass to, to and sign up to the neurons of cerebellar nuclei اللي هي الفاسيجيال تروبوس البوليفورم and dentate The axons of the neurons then leaves the cerebellum غالبيتها راح تطلع من الـ Perkinji cell بالـ cerebral cortex تصير sign up to the intercerebellar nuclei وبعدين تطلع من السربلم. The axons of the neurons then leave the cerebellum. A few Purkinje cells axons in the floccular nodular loop and in part of vermis bypass the cerebellar nuclei and leave the cerebellum without synapsing. The cerebellar peduncles in Eidha, we have superior cerebellar peduncles connect the cerebellum to the midbrain. The middle cerebellar peduncles connect the cerebellum to the pons. The inferior cerebellar peduncles connect the cerebellum to the middle lobe longata. وهنا أنا راح نشوف هذا الصورة. هذا cerebellum vermis of cerebellum. هنا أنا راح نشوف the middle cerebellar peduncles اللي كنا يربط السربلم بالpons. Inferior cerebellar peduncles هذا يربط السربلم بالmidal lobe longata. Superior middle cerebellar peduncles راح يربط السربلم بالpons. إيش راح يميزنا إذا نشوفه بهذه الصورة ننتبه التروكيال نيرف اللي حكيناه بواحدة من المختبرات العملية اللي هو النيرف الواضح اللي راح يجينا from posterior تميزة عن باقي النيرفز. We have afferent and efferent cerebellar fibers. The cerebellar afferent fibers, we have cerebellar afferent fibers from cerebral cortex, from spinal cord, and from vestibular nerve, and other fibers. In Eidha, the afferent تتقسم إلى cerebellar afferent fibers from cerebral cortex, from spinal cord, from the vestibular nerve, and other afferent fibers. 
From the cerebellar cortex, we have corticopontal cerebellar, cerebro olivo cerebellar, cerebro reticulo cerebellar. From the spinal cord, we have anterior spinal cerebellar, posterior spinal cerebellar, and cuneo cerebellar tract. Cerebellar afferent fibers from the vestibular nerve, اللي راح تكون mainly for equilibrium. These vestibular nerves receive information from inner ear concerning motion from the semicircular canals and position relative to gravity from the utricle and saccule. The vestibular nerve sends many efferent fibers directly or indirectly to the cerebellum through the inferior cerebellar peduncles on, on, the, peduncle on the same side. Other efferent fibers, in addition, the cerebellum receives small bundles and efferent fibers from the red nucleus and the tectum responsible for visual or, and auditory reflexes. In this photo, we see cerebellar afferent fibers from the cerebral cortex. The cerebellar peduncles are shown in ovoid dotted. Hadi. cerebellar afferent fibers to the cortex. In a tosal, the cerebellum. Hadi sura la hanjuf cerebellar. Afferent fibers from the spinal cord and the inner ear. The cerebellar peduncles are shown also as ovoid, اللي هي هذه dotted area. هذا هنا راح تيجي من spinal cord. هذه الصورة السابقة الأفرد تيجي من cortex وهنا أنا من spinal cord and the inner ear. Cerebellar efferent fibers in a globus in poliform rubral pathway, dentothalamic pathway, fastigial vestibular pathway, fastigial reticular pathway. بهذه الصورة راح نشوف cerebellar efferent fibers. The cerebellar peduncles are also shown in ovoid وراح نشوفها هنا dotted lines. وهذا ال efferent fibers. ومثل ما قلنا ال efferent fibers تبدي من ال Golgi من ال cortex cerebellar cortex. غالبيتها راح تسوي تداخل synapses مع ال intercerebellar nuclei وبعضها راح تطلع without synapses. Now to talk about some clinical nodes and function, each cerebellar hemisphere is connected by nervous pathway principally with the same side of the body. Thus, a lesion in one cerebellar hemisphere gives rise to signs and symptoms that are limited to the same side of the body. If there is any lesion, any problem in the cerebellar hemisphere, on the example, on the right side, it will cause a problem also on the right side. لأن ما عندنا هنا ديكاسيشن بحيث يبقى بنفس المكان حتى إذا صار ديكاسيشن يرجع في مكان الآخر إذا الليجن ليجن راح يصير بسرابلر هامسفير راح يسوي لنا مشكلة في نفس السايد in the same side يختلف عن السرابرام يختلف عن السرابرام اللي بعدين راح نشوف تفاصيلها إذا صار ليجن بالرايت سايد فالمشكلة راح تكون باللفت سايد بالكونترا لاترال سايد The essential function of cerebellum is to coordinate by synergistic action or reflexes and voluntary muscles muscular activity. Thus, it graduates and harmonizes muscle tone and maintains normal body temperature. It permits voluntary movement such as walking to take place smoothly and with precision and economy of effort. Then, مثل ما قلنا أنه it coordinates, influences, it رتب, it نسق الحركة. اللي هي اجتنا اصلا انيشيشن مالتها من السيربرال كورتكس هنا راح يصير تنسيق لها من راح يصير تنسيق فراح يصير عندنا اقل كميه من الطاقه راح نصرف لان يعني راح يصير عندنا تنسيق بالجهود كلها with precision and economy of effort تنذكر هذه جمله بوضوح it must be understood that although the cerebellum plays an important role in skeletal muscle activity It is not able to initiate muscle movement. Other function is to influence the speech by influencing the tone of the laryngeal muscle, but not the initiation of speech that occur in the speech center in cerebrum. Even had the الكلام influencing by the cerebellum, the tone of laryngeal muscles راح يصير بيها influencing the tone من cerebellum. 
بينما ايضا الانيشيشن مو من السيربلم وانما من السيربرال كورتكس اكوردنج تو ذيس فانكشن السيربلم ديسفانكشن اذا صار عندنا سيربلم ديسفانكشن صارت عندنا مشكله واللي قلنا راح يصير بالسيم سايد عاده اغلبها وبعضها راح ما نقدر نميزها may lead to one or more of the following anterior and middle loop dysfunction will lead to hypotonia رخاوه disturbances of voluntary movement سميها ataxia dysdiadokinesia disturbance of reflexes disturbance of ocular movement which could be pedicular pendular or jerky disorders of speech dysarthria floccoonodal loop dysfunction will lead to postural change and alteration of gait شكرا جزيلا لاستماعكم تمنياتنا بالموفقيه لجميع الطلبه